In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a fun and addictive video game that I guarantee you it is easy to follow. And if after this video, you still cannot make one, this is why your dad left for milk. The first step is to generate all of the graphics we're going to use for the game. In this example, I will be creating a Halloween theme Angry Birds. I will use Dolly 3 from ChatGPT and Midjourney to create the images. Here are the prompts that I used. You could replicate with whatever game's ideas that you have. If you don't have any, you could also ask ChatGPT to give you some ideas as well. For the title screen, I would use this prompt to give me a desired home screen like so. For backgrounds, we will be using Midjourney to generate. And on God, if you can't make it to these steps... What are you? An idiot sandwich. Alright, moving to the characters. Here are the prompts that I used to get these. And finally, for the objects, each one of it would be an individual prompt. You can create different style sheet of objects and use a free tool online like FBG or Adobe to individually crop them and remove the background. And I will type in each prompt like so. Again, this is an example of my game. You should apply the general concept of generating backgrounds, stages, characters, and objects for whatever game you decided to recreate. GPT-4 is not advanced enough to be able to code an entire game from scratch with just a single prompt. Although I think, I think, one day soon though. So we will prompt ChatGPT to create it just like a person would program it. Start with a simple functional base and iterate it and then expand and improve the code from there. So start with the foundation like this. And from there, keep asking for more and more things. And every time something goes wrong, clearly explain the mistakes and let it fix it. And guys, I need you to be patient at this steps and continue to ask ChatGPT to fix any euros that comes up, all right? At this point, you have got everything you need. So one by one, add details that are missing and fix any euros that comes up. You could rephrase your request if your output don't match. And I should say this, you have to be highly detailed and mindful of ChatGPT's context window for longer conversation, which means you may need to repeat yourself. And as always, if you have any question, just straight up ask ChatGPT. And that is how you build your own video game from start to end. It may be a little bit tricky since we'll be using ChatGPT to program for us. But if that means we don't have to waste our time trying over and over again, then I don't see why not. Like this video if you think this is helpful and thanks for watching.